Hi friends, it's Brenda from the Old Millbrook School Early on Challenge Family Center and today we are reading There Might Be Lobsters and it is written by Caroline Crimey and illustrated by Laura Mock. And I'm going to sit this way to see if I can focus on the pictures for you to see as we read. This book is about a small dog named Suki. Lots of things at the beach scared Suki. Lots. Come on, Suki, you can do it, said Eleanor. She stood at the bottom of the stairs to the beach and waved to Suki. But Suki was just a small dog, and the stairs were big and sandy, and she hadn't had lunch yet, and her foot hurt a little, and she might get a shell stuck up her nose. And she might tumble down on her head, and she'd need stitches, and besides, there might be lobsters. So Suki sat at the top of the stairs with Chankamanka by her side. Oh, all right, said Eleanor. She picked them both up with a tusk and a half and carried them down the stairs. Suki, you can do it, said Eleanor. She tossed the beach ball Suki's way. But Suki was just a small dog, and the beach ball was big and beachy, and it might hit her nose, and then it will pop, and it might be too loud, or it might knock her down, and she might never get up again. And she might have to live on the beach forever and eat seaweed to survive. And besides, beach balls attract lobsters. So Suki sat far away from the beach ball with Chankamanka by her side. Oh, Suki, Eleanor swooped that pop with a tusk and a half and cradled her in her arms. Come on, Suki, you can do it. Eleanor stood at the water's edge and splashed a little splash at Suki. But Suki was just a small dog, and those waves were big, and they were washy, and they were salty, and they were too wet, and they might toss her out to the middle of the sea, and she might float all the way to Tasmania or even Florida, and she might be swallowed by a whale, and she wasn't wearing a bathing suit. And besides, there might be lobsters. So Suki sat at the edge of the water with Chankamanka by her side. Oh, Suki, said Eleanor. She shook her head and dove into the waves. Suki sat and watched beach balls bouncing and big boys running and umbrellas flopping and lifeguards blowing loud whistles and waves splish splashing with chankamanka floating out to sea. Suki barked for chankamanka to come back. Chankamanka started to sink. Oh no. Suki started to paddle. She paddled past the big beachy ball and through a huge salty wave and over something that might that might even be a lobster until she had Chankamanka. He was safe. Suki had saved him. She felt braver than the bravest dog. Because even though she was very small, Chankamanka was smaller. Oh, Suki, I knew you could do it, said Eleanor. She picked them both up with a yay and a hooray and swung them very gently through the air. Suki sat in the sandy sand with the wavy waves and watched for lobsters with Chankamanka by her side. And they didn't see one all day. The end. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye now.